Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm back with another video and this is to tell you if your power supply is failing and the symptoms that you could have when having that. So sometimes the symptoms you can have is you have the system power cycles from one to two seconds and it keeps power cycling on and off. It randomly reboots, system locks up during usage so you just get a hard freeze. Maybe your power supply explodes and there's smoke coming out of it. Or you could have bulging capacitors inside your power supply and you could see them bulged. So this is what a bulging capacitor would look like inside your power supply and this could tell you that something is, is faulty inside the power supply itself. The capacitors are generally what provides power to your computer. And if they're bulged like this, like bursting at the seams, then that could mean that your power supply needs to be replaced. So how to troubleshoot it, you could get a power supply tester and you can test it out. You can replace your power supply to see if the systems, if the systems, sy symptoms stop. Couldn't speak there. So, and you can check your power cables. I would always check your cables, make sure that they're plugged in all the way. You can also make sure that the power supply is set to the on position. It's sort of obvious, but sometimes it happens. Maybe you don't have the switch flipped to the on position and therefore it's off so your system is not pulling power. So these are the things you can check. Definitely a tester is something that's about 10 or $12. And this is what it looks like. A general power supply tester. You plug in all your cables into each side of it. And then it tells you the 12 volt rails and it tells you the voltages and if the power supply is faulty or not. And this particular tester, if it has an LL, if it has an LL reading that's on it, that means your power supply is faulty, unfortunately. And so then when you see that LL reading, it means that you need to go and replace your power supply. You could go to a Best Buy, you could order one on Amazon and then swap it out. And so these power supply testers can come in handy just so that you know for sure that actually your power supply is faulty and that you do need to replace it. I think it's a pretty good investment. I'll leave a link in the video description for a power supply tester. And I hope this video helps somebody out who's having problems with their desktop gaming computer or regular, compute, regular desktop as well. So like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.